Hey guys, Ali here. In today's video, I'll be reviewing a new place actually called Ice Paradise. These guys have reached out to me on Instagram. They invited me to come in to try some of their stuff. I've had a look at their Insta. The pictures look really good. They look like they've got some really cool flavors of ice cream, some really cool desserts. But I think they actually do savory food as well. So I'll actually try and get both. I'll try and get some savory food. I'll try and get some dessert as well. And do a good review for you guys. Without further ado, let's get cracking. I'm super hungry, man. I'm super hungry today. So excited to get this review underway. All right, guys, so I'm inside. Looks pretty cool now. The first thing I actually noticed was they've got a load of ice cream when you walk in in the, in the sort of little display at the front. They've got some cracking flavors. They've got Vimto, which I've never, has anyone seen Vimto ice cream? I've never seen them. I'm looking at them now. They've got orange sorbet. I've had, I love sorbet, but orange, ooh, that sounds nice. Um, ooh, Hoss is actually just behind the camera, just said pomegranate. Who's seen, is that, it looks like an ice cream rather than a sorbet, that sounds nice. They've got, they've just got a lot of ice cream, okay? It sounds amazing. They've got a load of desserts, but I think what I'll do, kind of like a couple of videos that I've done for like Billy's or like Burger Republic. If you haven't checked those out, I'll put those in the description actually, a little plug there for you. If you <laughs> what I'll do, I'll actually split the video in two. So first half will be the savory food, um, and second half will be the more dessert sweet type of stuff. So like the ice creams and the desserts and whatnot. So I think that's how I'll split the food. So do stay by till the end because this place does do, like I said, quite a good variety of sweet and savory as well. Right guys, so the savory food is here. I've got quite a lot of food actually. First thing I want to say is the packaging on point. I am liking this packaging for sure. Looks quite fancy. So we've got a fair few things. We've got, I'll go through each thing. Obviously I'll review each thing, but we've got a paradise box. We've got a cheeseburger. We've got a chicken burger. I'll go over which types of cheeseburgers I've got because I've actually got a fair few bits and bobs on the menu. Really, really nice looking cheesy curly fries as well. And obviously because I'm watching the calories, I'll have a diet coke because well that'll save me like a hundred calories. So. Right, let's crack on. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm gonna go for first because there's so much to eat here. So like I said, savory first and then we'll do the sweet stuff next. Okay guys, so this is one of the burgers. I think this is the chicken burger, but it could be the beef, I could be wrong. Like I said, I quite enjoy this packaging. Oh, yep, yeah, this is the chicken burger. It's on a brioche bun, there's some mayo there, there's some cheese, there's some lettuce. It's piping hot, it looks delicious. Let's give it a go. Let's try this. Chicken is really soft, it's piping hot. I like the batter actually, it's got a really, really nice crunch to it. That's super tasty. What I might do actually is they've been kind enough to give me a load of sauces. I might add those into this. This currently has mayo. The chicken itself, like I said, is soft. The batter has got a really good amount of seasoning to it. It's how I like it. So kind of full of flavor, good amount of salt in there, good amount of seasoning, it's tasty. So moving on now to the paradise box. This has actually got some fries. There's a couple of strips there. There's, oh, there's some onion rings too. And in this you can, I think it comes with chicken, but you can choose. So. I believe this is a beef burger, but I could be wrong, and I'm pretty sure this one's a beef burger, so I've just had the chicken. There's a good amount of food in it. It's actually quite a good portion size. Priced pretty well too, I have to say. I think it's, let's have a look. I think it's $7.99, which, assuming the burger's good, I'll try that. That's a really, really good price. So let me just open this up for you and show you what's inside. Again, I'm loving the actual packaging for these guys. All right, let's try it. Oh, that is the beef, it looks good. There's a, is that two patties going on? There's two smashed patties going on there. I think that's their own paradise sauce as well. There's some lettuce there, some tomato, which if you're watching, you know I don't like, so I'll take that out. Looks fantastic though. All right, that burger looks good. A couple of smashed patties, like I said. I'm gonna eat this, then I've got another cheeseburger, I think. I think that's the one that's got some turkey rashes in it, and then I'm actually gonna go for the sweet stuff, but this looks good. I'm loving the beef. The smashed patty itself is cooked really well. Like the chicken really, super tender. I think it's probably got a decent fat to meat ratio, giving it that tenderness. I think what I would do is probably add a little bit of chili to that burger, but otherwise, really, really tasty burger. Good quality beef, two patties in there. I think for 7 dollars for that box, you can't really go wrong. That's a, a little bit of a steal. Let's go for, I don't think, this may be the first time I've ever eaten an onion ring on my channel. If I've eaten an onion, okay. I've got a really bad memory. I don't think I have, if I have, someone put it in the comments because I do not remember ever eating an onion ring on my channel. It's oniony. It's battered rather than breaded. It's soft. It's an onion ring. It's a good onion ring, but it's an onion, onion ring. What you could actually do is put these in your burger. That'll be tasty. Add a little bit of crunch to it, a bit of texture. I feel like that's a decent size. It's got a little bit of seasoning on there as well. Oh, it's hot soft. 
What I'm going to do actually is I'm going to dip that in their paradise sauce because I quite enjoy that. The chicken is on point here, tasty. All right, moving on now to the curly fries. I was actually split between normal fries and curly. I think I tend to prefer curly because I like the seasoning on them. And they've got some cheese sauce as well, which if you watch my recent video for German Donner Kebab, I did. Like they have this kebab which has like nachos, um, not nachos, Doritos in it, with like nacho cheese. So if you've watched that, which you should be watching all my bloody videos, you'll know <laughs> these look super tasty. I'm gonna get a big old handful and try them. Massive portion, really, really good cheese sauce. I like that they put some red salt on there as well to give it a little bit of extra flavor, even though the fries or the curly fries are seasoned themselves. That's really tasty. That's a good side actually. I think it's only cheesy French. But this is only £2.50, which is actually an awesome, awesome portion size for that. And they're really tasty as well. All right, last but not least for the savory section. I've still got the sweet stuff, but for the savory section, I believe this is a cheeseburger. I'm not sure if you guys can see the size. I've got a pretty big head really and pretty big hands. So you probably can't, but that's a really big, actually large sized burger. There's a couple of patties in there. There's some turkey rashes in there. There's some of their own paradise sauce. Um, it's got some onions in there. I think it would probably come with like tomatoes and things, but I've asked for no tomatoes just because I personally don't like tomatoes. But right, I'm gonna take a big old bite full of this. Let's give it a go. Patties, once again, really tasty, really tender, really flavorful. I like the turkey bacon. It gives it a little bit of smokiness, actually. That's really nice. I'm not usually a fan of turkey bacon, but that's actually good because it gives it some smokiness, but not, but not too much. It's not overpowering at all. The paradise sauce is a little bit of a winner. Like I said, that's their own sauce. That's really tasty. It's got a good amount of grilled onions in there as well, which give it sort of a, a touch of sweetness, really. I do like uh, white onions raw to give a little bit of acidity or cook to give a little bit of sweetness. Either or, I love onions. So that's a really, really tasty burger. Again, priced really well too, actually. So I think I would, if I was coming here again, I think I would probably, to us, oh no, I was gonna say, what would I get? I'd probably get all four options to be honest, because I like the cheesy fries, right? I like beef burgers and I really like the chicken. So that's kind of everything I've just eaten, isn't it? So, but it's the truth. <laughs> right, so I've got a couple of desserts here. So I'm starting with the cookie dough. This has got some biscoff on there, some Oreo, some chocolate sauce. As you can see, that looks really, really good. It's actually piping hot. So you know when they say don't touch the plate and everyone just does that? That's me, that's me. <laughs> it looks really, really good. I'm gonna start on that first because it's absolutely uh, piping hot. Uh, the next thing I've got, because obviously life's about balance, I'm trying to be healthy. I've got some strawberries and some bananas on a waffle. So um, I'm gonna try this next. Again, this is hot too. It looks fantastic. It's a good size. It looks, actually looks really, really nice. I'm looking forward to trying that. Starting with the cookie dough first. Let's just take a big old spoonful. Let's try it. The Biscoff, the Oreo, it's so rich. It's so like indulgent. The cookie dough is really, really soft as well. Which is how you want it to be really. You don't want a hard cookie dough because then it's just cookie, right? So. This is absolutely delicious. There's a good amount of chocolate sauce on there as well. I think what I would do is add some strawberries just for a tiny bit of acidity. I love when I have lots of like three flavors like Biscoff, Oreo, chocolate. Chuck a bit of fruit on there, take it to a whole nother level. But that is absolutely delicious. And they give you actual Oreos too, which is quite nice. So moving on now to the waffle. Again, this looks delicious, man. It looks quite light, which is, which is what I want. I'm gonna give this a go. I don't like when waffles, the actual waffle itself is too stodgy, so this looks quite crisp, looks quite light. I'm gonna attack it with these. Does anyone ever break these? Every time I use these, I break these, so let's give it a go. Let's try it. The waffle itself is pretty light. It's got a good amount of sauce, and a good amount of fruit, actually. The toppings are quite generous. I always find fruit, actually, goes really, really well with desserts, particularly chocolate-based chocolate desserts as well. That is a tasty waffle. I absolutely love the uh, cookie dough and I enjoy the waffle. Okay guys, so I'm just doing a quick segment in this video actually for the ice cream. Like I said, when I came in, first thing I saw looked amazing. They've got a ton of flavors. I've got three here, but honestly guys, there is a load of amazing flavors of ice cream and sorbet as well. So I've gone for the, the purple one, that's Vimto, the uh, reddish one, that's pomegranate, and this white one here is Biscoff. So let's go for... Let's go for, you know, let's go for Vimto first. Let's go for Vimto. Right. Let's try that. Oh, that is like the most concentrated Vimto flavor you will ever have. So if you like Vimto, you're gonna love that. 
It's like super concentrated. Never seen that before. It's actually, do you know what? This is delicious. I think this will go well with a, a waffle, actually. Moving on now to, ooh, this is a sorbet, actually. Uh, the pomegranate. Moving on to that next. Oh. There is a massive punch of flavor from that sorbet, actually. Again, it's almost like a super, super concentrated pomegranate, if that makes sense. Like essence of pomegranate, put into a sorbet, really good. Moving on now to the Biscoff. Talking of Biscoff, has anyone had that Biscoff ice cream, right? I get asked on my Instagram, which you should be following, by the way. I have that, I get asked that all the time, where I get it from. It's like the best ice cream in the whole world. And the only place that sells it is Tesco. I get asked that, honestly, pretty much every day, Tesco. I get my Biscoff ice cream from Tesco. The Biscoff, Biscoff ice cream is pretty good, actually, but I think, because I've just had an amazing pomegranate and Vimto, I'm kind of more bowled over by those actually. That's pretty good, but I love, I love the pomegranate and Vimto. And just because of uniqueness sake, everyone try the Vimto and let me know what you think. I think it's like a super concentrated Vimto flavor, which is kind of what I want, really tasty. Actually, you almost forgot to say, I tried their homemade garlic sauce. That has got to be up there as one of the best garlic sauces I've had from any takeaway in Manchester. It's homemade and you can taste it. Absolutely delicious. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. It's been a pleasure reviewing these guys. I would recommend you come down here. I love my mains. I love the dessert, particularly the cookie dough. That was absolutely fantastic. Give that a go. If you're liking the video, make sure to like this video. It helps me out a lot. Also subscribe to the channel because I've got a ton more videos coming. But I'll see you guys in that next video. Bye, 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 bye.